Hello everybody, it is me Ari and welcome back to part number three of the Sims 4 Seasons Let's Play. So it is, I don't even know what hour of the morning, 2 a.m. and both of our kids are up in the middle of the freaking night. Mr. Hunter actually had a nightmare and poor Avery has a monster under the bed and poor, poor Indy has to deal with this all of the morning. Well, she has her first day of work ahead of her. Look at this. She's got two absolutely miserable kids here. We're going to go ahead and... Oh, my God. Now he's all happy. Really? He's like, my mother's up. I'm getting attention. Yay. <laughs> but poor Indy has to deal with all of this. I just... I can't even tell you how irritating this must be to be woken up at literally 2 a.m. When you have work that day, it must be the worst thing ever so she's gonna go ahead and give Avery a big hug tell her there's no monsters under the bed but we're gonna go ahead and spray it anyway I don't know Hunter's kind of just doing his own thing he's like I'm gonna go eat a salad <laughs> okay like that's gonna solve anything but she's gonna go ahead and take care of her daughter first because you know mommy's favorite right here I'm kidding I'm kidding I'm kidding but I think Hunter will be fine he's actually just going to sit on a stool in his room and eat his salad because that's what you do when you're sad and you're a child is you go to the kitchen and grab a bowl of salad. He's going to be that healthy kid. I'm telling you right now. That's what he is going to be. So she's actually feeling a lot better. So she's going to have to sleep now since the monster's all gone. Um, we're just going to go ahead and leave this. We're not going to grab a serving of food. We're going to go ahead, give our other kid a hug and put him back to bed. Tell him everything's fine. The nightmare isn't real. He'll be okay. Oh, Hunter had a bad nightmare. A little comfort should be enough to get back to bed. Poor Indy has to deal with this all on, on like, her first day of work. She has work in, like, five hours. Literally six hours. And here she is dealing with this in the morning. I just thought it'd be interesting to go ahead and show you guys what poor Indy has to deal with. And he won't even listen. Are you kidding? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You are not listening? No, 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 no. Discipline his recent behavior. We're going to be quite firm with him because, you know what? She is, it's 3 a.m. She is really not for being, like, you know, a nice, gentle parent. You know, she was awoken from her slumber. If I was woken up at 3 in the morning, I would definitely not be patient or calm. I would just be like, express, tell her, be like, boy, you're going to listen to me. I am your mother. That's how it works. So she's going to go ahead and discipline him because that needs to be done. And here he is getting even more mad. No, you're going to bed. Put him to bed, honey. What are you... Okay, you know what? You're you're just going to head to sleep by... Really? Still? Oh my god, he's even in a worse mood now. Because he, he got yelled at. Nope, 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 nope. Nobody can make me do it. Oh my goodness. Alright. We're going to just... You know what? We're leaving it at that. She is going back to bed. Hunter, why don't you go ahead and come over here and play with your blocks. Stack them up until you feel like you're ready to go to bed. He wants to take his clothes off. <laughs> what the? Why is that a thing? Just to take your clothes off? I've never seen that interaction before. Let me just... Oh my god. I mean, it is a whim he wanted to do, so... You know, we gotta let the boy... Oh my god, he's even going outside with his clothes off. Our child! Oh my god, he's like living on the edge. Literally, wild child to the max. Why wear clothes? Clothes are silly. Being naked is aces. What the? Oh my god, we have our child is literally running on the streets naked. Butt naked on the streets. We must be kidding. He wanted to do it. I <laughs> mean, he wanted to experience freedom. Are you kidding me? You must be kidding. <laughs> He's gonna go ahead and head to sleep, and I will see you guys in the morning. Alrighty, you guys, so good morning. It is now 8.30 in the morning, and I actually had Indy go ahead and choose the work from home option because I thought it was just better, so we wouldn't have to send Hunter to daycare and all of that kind of stuff, so we are working from home today, and it looks like our only work from home assignment is to research a plant. So, um, all we have to do is click on a growing plant and select research or analyze. So, um, 
Oh, we have to reach level two. Okay, well, first we'll go ahead and water everything. Actually, no. We have to take care of a kid first. Let's focus on the kid. So we're giving him a bath currently because he was quite stinky. Then we're going to feed him. We'll go ahead and give him a drink on the floor because we don't got time for anything else. Because <laughs> we got to get going, all right? We got we to gotta do work now. So go ahead and give him a bottle. Oh, we're not. Just go ahead and put him in the chair since you want to be extra. Even though we just cleaned that, I know he's going to make a mess. I know it's going to happen. But we're going to go ahead and give him a little bottle. How cute. What's inside of it? Apple juice. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, anyway, we're going to go ahead and come out here. Is these clothes dry yet? <clears throat> no, they are still damp. Well, we're, we're waiting. We're going to go ahead and water the plants and then harvest all of these plants and see how much money we make from today's... Today's little shindig with our little garden. And then we'll go ahead and bond with the bees as well. Actually, no. We gotta we gotta tend to our son as well because he's not gonna be stuck in this pie chair all day. Hunter is too much of a wild child for that. Um, if you don't recall, about three minutes ago he was streaking at 3 a.m. So you know, that's normal. <laughs> Glad to know we have a normal family of Sims here. But I'm just going to go ahead and finish all of this up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So tonight it's going to be quite hot. And I was thinking of having Eli over or going out somewhere with Eli. I think it'd be fun to just have him over and do like a little barbecue type of thing. Because we do have this nice little grill back here. So we can grill something up. You know, have a nice night. Just like the kids and him. You know, and I think that'll be nice. So you guys can like get a little taste of Eli. See how he is with the kids. Because that's pretty, pretty important. But um... Looks like that's all to harvest right now. It's just five pieces of basil. All right, well, that sucks. We're gonna go ahead and research our plant now so we could go ahead and complete our work from home assignment. So she's taking some notes. Look at her being professional. I love it. She's like, hmm, well that, that leaf looks a little bit different than the other leaf. These pixelated leaves. <laughs> Why is she all tense? from cooped up you were just outside okay well we're gonna go check the laundry one more time they should be dry now yes they are dry so we can go ahead and unload and put the laundry away actually no let's take hunter out of this chair first because he is flipping out <laughs> let's go ahead and do that come on finish researching the plant let's go we have so much to do you guys okay so she's taking pictures of it too i don't know what's going on here <laughs> Ooh, Indy has researched basil bush and updated the notebook. Open the notebook using the icon bar at the top of the phone. Is it this? No, this is it. So we have some notes on basil. So basil is a summer and fall plant. Good, because it's summertime. It is a fragrant herb plant that produces basil leaves. It's used for food and you can graft with sage to get parsley. Interesting. That's actually pretty cool that it tells you like all these little, these little <laughs> things. So we're going to actually gonna go ahead and play with him for a little bit. You know, spend some quality time with our kid. Um, <laughs> help with needs. We just, we just, what? <clears throat> What's wrong with him? He's fine. What, the, what do you mean? All right, we're going to go ahead and praise him. I don't know why we're praising him, but we're going to praise him and hug him lovingly. And then we got to get back to doing all the stuff we need to do today so we're gonna go ahead unload put the laundry away replace the water in there what else can we do how about we actually go around all around this town and try and um maybe harvest some harvestables let's see is there any harvestables here there has to be some in this little park area over here they're definitely <gasps> mr mayor whiskers the boy the man look at him he's so cute guys i love him i want him forever i literally want this cat forever okay anyway we need to find harvestables let's see <laughs> i don't see any <clears throat> i don't see any at all i was gonna try and have her do like you know outdoorsy stuff let's go ahead and dig i don't know digging is outdoorsy right <laughs> We definitely should be getting a promotion, though. Like, today, we definitely should be. Can you take him out from there, please? Okay, good. So now we're going to go ahead and dig, um, do some mother stuff. Look at her taking down the laundry. How cool! 
And as you could see, the heat wave is actually starting to begin. Look at this, just how we saw last time with like the ripples almost. We're going through another heat wave, you guys. Brindleton Bay is super, super hot. Super duper, super duper hot. So she's gonna go ahead and dig up whatever's here. She found a limestone. What is that? It's this. Let's go ahead and extract the fossil. It's a fossilized sim hand. That's creepy. What the? A fo what? That looks so creepy. It looks like one of those things from those murder, 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 whatever the murder things. <laughs> the murder shows. We're going to go ahead and sell it. And I don't know. What else can we have her do today? Hmm. Let's have her actually. Ooh. That is what I need to do. I need to turn this thermostat off or turn it to warmer so we could save money because holy guacamole, our bills are going to be sky high. I was on Twitter the other day and someone had their AC on for like the whole day and the whole night and their bills were sky high and I was like, we will not be able to afford that. So we need to make sure we turn this off every time we are not in the house because it's so bad, you guys. Like the bills were like 11 thousand something simoleons and i was like uh-uh can't do it nope <laughs> nope 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 so we don't really have any other work things to do so i'm actually gonna have her come over here and bond with the bees collect some honey maybe hopefully the bees will like us today i mean i'm praying here okay i really don't want her to get stung but at the same time i kind of want her to get stung so we can you know have the experience uh, get stung by bee <laughs> There's our title right there. Clickbait title. I love clickbaity titles. They're so funny. <clears throat> it's really like, guy stole my money. The ice cream man forgot to give you back a penny. Oh my god, she's de she's definitely gonna get stung. They do not like her today. Oh my god. <laughs> she just got stung, you guys. Stung from bees. Ouch. Pesky bee stings are the worst, but it's hard to resist the spoils of a honey. Oh my goodness, we're gonna go ahead and collect our honey, which is probably not a smart decision, but we need to do it. Ew. Bugs, bugs are gross. I do not like bugs. I'm not a bug person. Look at that. We got our little honey. We can actually go ahead and eat a thing of honey. Let's go ahead and actually step out of here so the bees don't attack us. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and eat some honey. She reminds me of Winnie the Pooh Bear. That was adorable. All right, so she ate her honey and we get a little emote from the honey as well. Tempted by honey. Honey tastes so sweet, it's almost worth the risk to obtain it. That's adorable, aw. All right, so instead of teaching him blocks, let's actually go ahead and teach him how to use the bathroom. Because we really have nothing else to do today. I mean, our plants haven't grown. We can't really harvest anything around the neighborhood. So we can't really work on like arrangements or anything of that sort. Actually, we can. Let's have her make an arrangement, actually, after she go ahead, goes ahead and potty trains Hunter. Alrighty, guys, so here we are at the family home. I read that little thing wrong, and I thought it said, like, you know, you want me to come over? But no, it was, like, us coming over. So here we are at the family house, and this is where you guys can actually meet the whole family. Let's go ahead and bring Indy here and bring Hunter here as well. Um... You are not at daycare, bro. I don't have money for daycare, so no. We're gonna go ahead and give him basil. Give him a piece of basil to like hang him over for now. He's like, basil, yes, basil. All right, so there's our son eating a leaf. First he eats salad at 3 a.m. and now he's literally eating a leaf, okay. Anyways, here we are at the family home. This is where Andy grew up right by the beach it's such a pretty little area and it's perfect for them so julian actually lives with danielle which is our grandmother so i'm going to go ahead and introduce you guys here's our mother danielle she is absolutely stunning for an old lady she cleans up so well and like i said before she dresses in these cute little like grandma outfits like look how cute she looks she looks freaking adorable in this little sundress so we're gonna go ahead and give her a heartfelt compliment tell her how good she looks be like, Ma, you look so good. <laughs> and here's Mr. Julian, which is our brother. He's really cute. And then here's his wife. I forgot her name, actually. What's her name? Myla. Aw. Or Laya? Myla. She's so pretty, you guys. And she actually has the hair from Seasons. 
because I didn't want um, Indy to wear it because I feel like it didn't fit Indy well, but um, it looks really good on her, so. We're just visiting some family. Let's go ahead and talk about the birding temperature because it is so hot. It is way too hot. We're going to go ahead and tell an inside joke. Let's go ahead and come over here and talk to her as well. You know, talk with the whole family. Share some photos. Be like, look at Avery. She's so cute. She's taking a crap on the on the can right now. She's not having fun. I'm so sorry, girl. She's This is actually Austin's room. It's funny how Austin is at our house right now and we're at his house. Like, what? what is going on here? Oh, that's another thing. We need to have Avery join the Girl Scouts. Now, um... I was kind of like, eh, about it. I didn't know whether I wanted her to do it or not, but I think it'd be really fun because I was going to have Hunter do it when he ages up into a child, but I think it'd be really cute to see Avery as a little Girl Scout. So we're going to go ahead and do that right about now. See, look how cute. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Hey, whippersnipper, whippersnapper. <laughs> what the heck is that? Hey, whippersnapper, do you have what it takes to be a scout? Whip out that compass and volunteer today. As a virtuous scout, you'll do fun activities with your troop and learn what it takes to be an upright member of your community. How exciting. So she's entered the scout career. Avery Grace is now Llama Scout in Scout Pack 1. She can start immediately by checking badge progress or doing scout activities anywhere. Her first scout meeting is on Saturday at 2 p.m. Oh my god, how fun. That's so exciting. All right, let's have her go ahead in here and experiment in here so she can raise up her fun. We actually need to feed our child <laughs> because he's, oh, he's out here drinking apple juice. Life is good. What do you mean? He's doing good. Look at him. He's drinking up whatever that is. We'll have him eat the basil as well. He's living. He's fine. So we're just in here catching up with family and stuff. And I actually think we'll go ahead and leave the kids here and have Andy go out and pay a visit to Eli because I do want to see Eli. Where is he? Here he is. Eli Willis, the man, the myth, the legend, Eli Willis. We're going to go ahead and go out with Eli. I mean, it's a heat wave. Maybe we can go to like a pool or something. I don't know. Oh, we can go to a lounge. Let's go to Club Calico, which is a little lounge place. And it looks like it has a pool, so it's, it's nice. We can probably cool down there and stuff. So I will see you guys once we get to Club Calico. Hmm. I can't. You know what? I will see you guys there, okay? <laughs> Alrighty, you guys. Welcome to Club Calico. Here we are. It's so beautiful here. I really like. Brindleton Bay is such a beautiful area. I absolutely love it. So here we are at Club Calico. Um, it looks really high scale and like rich people status, but you know, it's okay. I mean, we really don't belong here. Like we really, really don't. Us and our 92 simoleons. She barely made any money today. How much money does she make an hour? $20 an hour? How did you go for... I don't understand. <laughs> I really don't. But here's Mr. Eli in his hot weather outfit. I mean, he's he's looking pretty good if you ask me. We're going to go ahead and go ahead and tell him an inside joke. Give him a heartfelt compliment. 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 Talk to him a little bit. We'll go ahead and give him a hug. And then we will actually head to the pool. Actually, let's go ahead and use the bathroom first because she needs to do that. And then we'll go ahead and swim together. And what's wrong with you, buddy? You're still hungry? Don't, don't throw a tantrum. You have your apple juice, so drink your apple juice. I swear, these toddlers are so annoying sometimes. Yes, drink it. And then you won't be hungry anymore. See, it's not that hard. Let's actually have, um, Avery Grace come here. She's so cute, look at her. And we'll have her go ahead and swim around a little bit as well. Have her swim some laps, raise up her fun, you know, do some physical activity, and it's a nice way to beat the heat. We're still in the middle of a heat wave, if you guys could not tell. See, like, at the bottom it says, sunny heat wave. <laughs> it's fun. You know, it's a good time. Oh, girl, you rocking that hair. I see you with my CC. I see you. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Indy's in the bathroom. Go ahead and just get out of there. You're fine now. All right, so she's gonna go ahead and head out to the pool, or not. He is fine, oh my god. Uh, the sippy cup is empty. Can we like refill it? 
No, we can only clean it up. Okay. Quick, give him, give him some food. Toddler care. We can't give him anything right now because a high chair is required. Well, Club Calico now has high chairs. <laughs> because this child is so high maintenance that we need to freaking feed him everywhere he goes. He's literally me. Like, he's always hungry. I don't think there was one time where he was not hungry in this entire part. But we're going to go ahead and sit him out here. <sighs> give food to Hunter. We're going to give him some animal crackers. Because, you know, that's what rich people eat. Animal crackers. <laughs> I don't even know why we're at Club Calico. <gasps> that is so cute. I've never seen this before. Oh, that's so pretty. We're going to come sit out here when it gets a little bit darker. But, um... Put Hunter in the damn high chair. Oh my... These sims. Come here. Come on, Hunter. Waddle your way over. Let's go. He is tired. He is hungry. I I just don't know what to do. Oh my god, what's this? It looks like we have a new holiday that kind of popped up out of absolutely nowhere. And it is called Rebate Day. Oh my god, so it's like Black Friday. That's awesome. Rebate day is going to be so fun, you guys. So I guess all the prices on things go down. I'm for that. Put Hunter in the high chair. Go. It's already getting dark outside. Like, we're supposed to be swimming. Supposed to be doing fun things here. Alright, why don't you go ahead and not listen to this this strange guy tell jokes <laughs> with, like, two people as an audience and come out here and swim. Swim some laps, girlfriend. Have some fun, you know? Um... Okay, can you stop inviting us places? Like, we're in the middle of a dilemma here. <laughs> Put Hunter down. Put him down. Command him to eat animal crackers, and let's go ahead and find Eli. Eli probably left. <laughs> I think Eli actually left, you guys. Well, that sucks. We lost our not boyfriend. Oh, no, he's right here. Never mind. I was like, did this boy actually leave? Like, I was, a <laughs> I was about to be mad. All right. Go ahead and eat your- mm, what are you doing? No! Put Hunter in the high chair right now. No, 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 no. No, I can't do it. Actually, no, you know what? It's okay. I can't even, like- These toddlers are so annoying sometimes, you guys. Like, I think I might want to strangle this kid right now. Eat your animal crackers. Oh, eat those animal crackers right now. What? Where did they go? I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. No, I just can't do it. I'm sending him to daycare because I just can't, I can't. Not right now. He's going to be there for like 20 minutes, so it's really not that big of a deal. But um, we're going to have her go ahead and sit here together with the group. Let's actually have um, Avery go ahead and join them. Where do you have to go? Like, where are you trying to go right now? We're going to have a deep conversation. Let's just try to relax for the, like, remainder of this part because this part has been so hectic. We've been all over the place. So we're just going to have some nice conversation. Give him some hugs. Can we, like, cozy up by the fire or something? No. I'm guessing not. <laughs> Let's go ahead and also be a little bit more romantic with them. Go ahead and flirt. Um, compliment his appearance, tell, be like, my boy, you look so good. Aw, look how cute. Alright, let's go ahead. Oh, I forgot they haven't kissed yet. I feel like this would be the perfect place for them to have their first kiss. I mean, look at the view. Right by the fire. Let's do it. They're gonna have their first kiss, you guys. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Ah! <laughs> How adorable! Yes! Oh my god. This is so cute! So they're having their first kiss right now. That's adorable. I'm here for it. Let's go ahead and give them an embrace. Let's actually just go ahead and say goodbye and embrace him goodbye. So I think it's time to go home now. Alrighty, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and end this part right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry. It was so hectic. 
I don't even know how this part got so out of hand. One second we were like, okay, we're gonna pick our basil this morning. Yes, like being a good gardener. And then the other second we had a streaking baby running around. We went to family today. We saw Eli. We couldn't feed our hangry child who was really hungry for the entire day. Like me in a nutshell because I'm always hungry. But like, it's annoying. Like, can you not? <laughs> But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give us a... Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. And turn on your post notifications to be notified when I post a new video or when I go live for live streams. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.